In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use the NLA editor to move a vehicle while its wheels rotate. Open the simple model of a car. You can download the model from my website or you can make it yourself. Again, I'll put links to the relevant tutorials at my website. Select the top of the car, hold down shift and select the bottom of the car and click the join button. Rename the joined object car. The object has some scale values. I want to reset those in the object menu, apply scale. Select a wheel, hold down shift and select the other three wheels. They have a rotation value in the object menu, apply rotation. Hold down shift and select the car. I want to make the car the parent of the wheels Shortcut key is Control and P and select Object. Now all the wheels have the car as their parent. Change the layout from default to animation. This window is a graph editor window. I'm going to change it to an NLA editor window. In the dope sheet window, change the mode to Action Editor. Drag with the middle mouse button to scroll the menu bar. Click the plus to create a new action and name the new action Wheel Rotate. Go to frame one, go to the object properties of the wheel and right click the X rotation and insert single keyframe. Set the total length of the animation to 20 frames. Go to the last frame, frame 20, set the X rotation to be 360 and right click and insert single keyframe. Press play and the wheel rotates but it speeds up and slows down. To fix that in the key menu go to interpolation mode linear. Now when we press play the wheel spins at a constant speed. Set the length of the animation to be 150 frames. Now if I press play, the wheel spins once and then stops. How do we get it to spin continuously? Click the snowflake button to convert the animation into an action strip. Click the plus to open up the properties of the NLA editor. Drag on the boundary between the windows to make the window bigger. Scroll down to action clip properties and there there is a repeat value. The wheel rotate takes 20 frames so to get to 150 frames we need to repeat 8 times. Now if I press play the wheel rotates continuously. Select the next wheel. In the action editor window click the browse action button. Select the wheel rotate action and in selecting it it is linked to the wheel. Click the snowflake button to convert the animation into an action strip and set the properties for the action strip, the repeat property, to 8. I'm dragging with the middle mouse button to rotate the view, select the next wheel, browse for the wheel rotate action, click the snowflake button, set the repeat property to 8, select the final wheel, browse for the wheel rotate action, Click the snowflake button. Now for some reason the new strip is not the selected strip, so select the strip and set the repeat value to 8. Now when I press play, all the wheels rotate. Next I'm going to move the car while the wheels rotate. I'm dragging to make the 3D view window bigger. I'm dragging with the middle mouse button to rotate the view. And I'm zooming back with the mouse wheel. To set up keyframes, go to frame, make change, insert keyframe. So I'm going to frame one, make change, select the car and drag on the tip of the green arrow to move it back. And right click on the Y location to insert a single keyframe. Go to frame, 150, make change, drag on the tip of the green arrow and move the car. And insert keyframe, right click on the Y location, insert single keyframe. If I press play, the car accelerates and decelerates while its wheels go at a constant speed. To fix that, 
go to the key menu and interpolation mode and change it to linear. Now when I press play, the car and the wheels go at a constant speed. In the dope sheet window, I'm panning, shift and drag with the middle mouse button. And I'm zooming in with the mouse wheel. I'm going to select the second keyframe, press G to grab, and move that to frame 100. And I'm going to set the total length of the animation to 100. And press play, and that speeds the car up just a little bit. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put the start file and the end file at my website www.freemovies.co.uk at the Blender channel there. Thanks for watching and goodbye.